Hello Internet Allies, how are you doing? So, so, since the start of this year, I've been really enjoying watching Steven Universe. It's a show I can't really believe I've not really watched until now. And I even ended up like a couple of weeks ago drawing myself as a Steven Universe character, which I thought looked really, really cool. I think what I really love about it is that like each and every character is really distinctive. I love how energetic it is, but also like deals with like, you know, kind of more serious issues like with such as like friendships, relationships, bringing people together, etc, etc. And this has got me thinking, I think if, if I was growing up now, I think Steven Universe would definitely be one of my favourite childhood cartoons. Because of Steven Universe, I kind of felt like I could should talk to you guys about what my favourite childhood cartoons were. You know, all the way back in the 90s and early 2000s. So, here we go! Ba bam Woo! So, these cartoons are going to be in absolutely no particular order whatsoever, except for my favourite one. I've got to mention this one first, Digimon. It's quite hard to put my finger on it, but I think the reason why, why I love Digimon so much is basically the sort of bonding between the Digimon and the Digimon partners, Digidestined and stuff like that, and how they all get to sort of like develop like their relationships with each other and stuff like that, and how like the Digimon just unconditionally love the Digidestined as well and also love food and stuff like that, which is great. I love how, like, you know, the Digimon have, like, genuine personalities and do act like, you know, the Digidestined's Guardian Angels and stuff like that. As the show went on, like, I love how, like, each character got their chance to shine and how each character was able to develop themselves, like, you know, in different ways and stuff like that and kind of delved into, like, the insecurities and flaws of each character and stuff, which I thought was great. I think they did this like really really well and it's also it also takes place in this really interesting setting the digital world and stuff as well which you know is really creative and they all have to like fight all these other Digimon who are either been made evil by the Black Gears or or are just basically causing trouble basically for the Digidestin and basically are threatening the digital world and possibly even the real world. I mean I know often Digimon and Pokemon get compared to each other Okay, one way to really, really annoy me is basically when people say Digimon's basically just a rip off a Pokemon. No, it is not, okay? If anybody says that, you are immediately going to be blocked, unfollowed, etc, etc. I will not talk to you. Okay. However, I did really like Pokemon when that first came out. Before I was a fan of the games, I was a fan of the TV show. And I think what I really liked about this was... Yeah, it, I think it's, it is very fun and stuff like that, and also Pikachu is absolutely adorable. Squirtle's my favourite Pokemon, he's really cool. I, I like how Pokemon has like the main antagonist, Team Rocket and Meow. I think that kind of conflict between Team Rocket and Ash and the team. You know, I think that's basically what brings the show alive and stuff like that, and that's why a lot of the humour of the show comes from and stuff. And also you get to like meet all these different Pokemon that are on this journey and stuff like that, and on the way for Ash's quest to become a Pokemon Master. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> I think I was quite an anime kid. Like, I think my number one favourite show was always an anime for some reason. I think after Pokemon and after Digimon, I really enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh for some reason. I do think the card game eventually got a bit too complicated for me to follow, but you know, I like how it's kind of like based on like Egyptian history and stuff as well. And I like how, I like how they kind of implement that into like the main story as well. You know, the show does take itself like way too seriously. Like, you know, they treat like card games as if it's like a matter of life and death, but, <laughs> But like, I think that's basically what makes me laugh about the show, to be honest. I, I just think like Yugi was like, Yami Yugi was like really, really cool as well. He was like a style icon basically at the time. So of course a show that I really enjoy up until this day is Spongebob. One of those shows where, you know, you can enjoy whatever mood you're in. You know, Spongebob, you know, he's always like really cheery, makes you smile and stuff like that. I also really like Plankton, who's sort of like the antagonist of the Spongebob universe. Basically, I just like how the show makes fun of itself at times and stuff like that like and kind of knows that Spongebob is sometimes a bit too happy at times and they kind of know that Patrick can be quite stupid and stuff and whatnot and they kind of know that like you know Squidward's a bit moody at times and they know Mr. Krabs a bit money hungry and whatnot and they do make fun of like themselves for that and I do quite like that about the show. Another Nickelodeon show I really loved growing up was Fairly Odd Parents. I think it was one of those shows where I kind of wish it was real because, like, you know, I think growing up, like, you know, I was, 
I was I struggled quite a lot really to be honest. I think having like fairy godparents would have really really helped really with that. I mean yeah it's about like Timmy who basically he basically ends up wishing for things and then has to like basically undo the, do, do undo the wishes because of the consequences that those wishes bring. Yeah, I wish I had fairly, fairly good parents growing up. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> I mean, I love like Cosmo, who's sort of like, you know, who's sort of like the idiot. And then you got Wanda, his wife, who is kind of a bit of a nag sometimes. And a bit of like, got like a bit of, I told you so attitude and stuff like that. I also even liked when they added like the baby Poof as well. Poof was really cute. I loved Poof. However, I do think that show hasn't really aged greatly because I, th I remember like them adding like a dog and then another girl who Timmy had to share fairy godparents with and I didn't really like it when they added those characters. But however, I did like, um, you know, I did like, you know, how Timmy's got like all these adults who you like basically antagonize him so you've got like the mum and dad who kind of neglect him you got vicky who the babysitter who's like basically tortures him <laughs> and you got mr crocker he, he basically um hates timmy but like is also adamant that he has fairy godparents and everyone thinks he's a bit cuckoo but he's actually right <laughs> i just all i just love the whole when he goes into like all these really like weird uncomfortable positions like fairy godparents <laughs> it's kind of weird because i think like when I was younger, I liked Fairly Odd Parents more than Spongebob, but now I'm older, I kind of like Spongebob more than Fairly Odd Parents. I think another show I loved more when I was younger than I do now is The Simpsons. I remember like, you know, every evening at six o'clock, without fail, I would end up like, you know, I wouldn't care if like tea was ready or anything like that, I would watch The Simpsons. <laughs> you know, it was one of those shows I was completely obsessed with. I think what's so impressive about The Simpsons is how, like, you know, it is kind of based on like current pop culture and stuff, but also, you know, it has its own unique universe where each and every character is like distinctive and whatnot. And and even like the characters outside of The Simpsons as well, like, you know, they have like their own like backstories, you know, like, and they all kind of like connect with The Simpsons. A couple of like really old cartoons from my childhood, which I've not really watched since my childhood, uh, there's Recess. I felt like in every group there was like, you know, a, a member of the Recess gang. So you had like the Rebel, you had the Tomboy, you had the Smart One, you had the Big Softy, you had, you know, the New Kid, you had the, he was the other one, the Sporty One, Vince, he was my favourite actually. Well, how could I forget Vince? He was definitely my favourite. You had the, you know, eight, in every school setting you had like, you know, the kind of gossipy girls as well. You know, the one that did like the same thing all the time and you had the one that's like the like the teacher's pet or snitch or whatever. Kind of like a realistic like playground school setting now, which is what I really love. I definitely really like Vince the best, but like I think I was probably more of a TJ type really, or maybe a Gus type, I don't really know. Or no, Mikey. I like Mikey as well. Another awesome Disney Channel show, um, Kim Possible. Kim Possible and Totally Spies, I think they're very similar actually. I feel like they made me want to be like a spy when I was at school and stuff like that and I used to like pretend I was like, I used to play pretend spy games with myself like when I was in primary school. I think what's awesome, you know, it's like, you know, the main characters are female as well so it's like girl power so at the time it might have felt like a guilty pleasure but like I did genuinely enjoy those shows and stuff. You know, because, you know, they do get up to like, you know, all these like cool adventures which, you know, maybe normal high schoolers probably wouldn't. And I also think that those shows inspired like another one of my favourite challenge shows which is Phineas and Ferb. And I feel like this Disney Channel show does not get spoken about enough. It is amazing. I just love how like the show is quite formulaic but at the same time really self-aware and makes fun of itself and whatnot. Basically how like Kim Possible and Totally Spies kind of inspires Phineas and Ferb is basically the whole like secret agent thing where like basically they have like secret agent entrances like through the like headquarters basically literally anywhere and then they have to fight this like fight the main bad guy Doofenshmirtz who who knows he's kind of evil but like I don't know but he's kind of like incompetent at the same time. I will say, like, I do really also enjoy Steven Universe and Adventure Time and uh, and Death Note, but like, I think those shows I kind of started watching really after, after like, after my childhood happened basically, because they are quite newer ones and stuff, so, so yeah, but please let me know in the comments what your favourite childhood cartoons are. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, um, if you did please give it a like, and until next time, keep smiling guys. 
Hope you're having a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye!